Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap episode on Agoracom TV, a daily fast paced edgy show, bringing the best press release of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments Monday, April the 25th, Easter Monday. Hope all of you had a fantastic Easter weekend. I know I'm feeling a little bit groggy, too much food, not enough sleep, but here to wake up, five press releases from all sides of the borders. Let's start you off first with China. China Forestry Industry Group, CNFI in the U.S. Uh, this is a company that engages in the production and sale of floor materials for residential and commercial customers in China. They put out their fourth quarter and full year highlights. I'm just going to give you the full year. Revenue up 180% to $37 million. Gross profit of 257% to $11.7 million. Net income increased 313% to $9.3 million or 42 cents per diluted share. Now, given the fact they closed at 3.40 uh, on Thursday uh, before Easter Friday, uh, they're trading about eight times earnings based on earnings per share based on these numbers. That's pretty cheap. We all know what's going on over there. Babies being thrown out the bathwater. You've got to figure out which Chinese companies are real and which ones aren't. You might want to sit back, keep track of companies like this. Uh, so far this morning, no real, uh, looks like no real response to the news. But then again, the company is trading at a 52-week high here, 350 on the high, a dollar one on the low. So they're pretty much right there, and this may have been factored in. Um, the one thing to consider: if housing, if you think housing is going to slow down in China short term, uh, that may be bad news for China Forestry Industry Group. <clears throat> Excuse me. But otherwise, fantastic numbers on their face. Switching over to Canada, Torex Gold (TXG). Uh, they announced initial step-out drilling has intersected high-grade gold. This is on the project. 100% owned in Mexico. Uh, High-grade gold mineralization has been hit beyond the deposit's known northeast resource boundary. That's always a very, very good sign. Uh, some of the numbers, 2.63 grams of gold over 31 meters, 13.2 grams over 3 meters, 2.2 grams over 20 meters, and 4.28 grams over 9.57 meters. They closed uh, on Thursday at $1.94. Torx Gold this, mo this morning, uh, trading right there. Bid and ask is slightly higher, though, so it looks like it should move higher, $1.95, $1.99, as far as what's going on this morning. So good news to the company there. Crow Flight Minerals, CML, they announced the restart of their Bucko Lake mine operation. Uh, it's always a good and bad sign. Bad sign made why they're restarting. Good sign is they're finally restarting. Uh, this is their mining operation. The company's Bucko Lake mine uh, was resumed on April 22nd. Uh, Kevin Zhu, interim CEO, said uh, they had a six-month suspension. Go figure out why that is, but it looks like they received permission from the mine safety branch of the Manitoba government, so I'm not sure if it had something to do with safety. But they did say, with our own new mining equipment and mining crews in place, we believe we can achieve full production at Buckle Lake, a mine, in three months' time. Uh, the company closed on Thursday at $0.08, cents, $0.21 cents on the high, $0.4.5 cents on the low. As of this morning, uh, Crow Flight is trading up nicely, one penny, 12%. But what's more important, good volume, 2.2 million shares. And uh, they've got a pretty strong bid and ask out there right now. Uh, so this may be something to keep an eye on and see if they can get back to full production because they are pretty far off their 52 week range, 52 week high SAR, and you may have some upside here. Switching to technology, entertainment media. No secret to anybody in the TSX Venture Exchange, INT, and for our friends in Germany, I4T. Literally kajillions of shares trading. Uh, this social media real-time language translation platform called Ortsbo had some more data out today from INT. It's reached 13 million unique monthly users. Unbelievable number. Trust me, I know this stuff. That's a huge number. Since launch, they've recorded uh, over 183 million minutes of user engagement, 129 million page views, 40 million unique users, and 58 million online sessions. Just this past week, they had a record for uh, unique users, 4.8 million unique users uh, use the site in the past week. Maybe it had to do with Easter and people want to uh, send their wishes to people, but unbelievable. They got over 110,000 Facebook fans, uh, over 15,000 of them joined this week. This thing has gone viral. Uh, the one thing that people want to see probably is where they're going to extract their revenues from, and they did address that in the press release. They still have to deliver those. But on its face, as a social media platform, this thing is just blowing up and uh, makes it an acquisition target, whether the company wants to keep it internal or not. It makes an acquisition target. They closed at 151 on Thursday. Right now, they're trading $1.71, 5 million shares. 
up 13 percent. A real battle going on here in this dollar seventy, dollar seventy five range. I think if it breaks through dollar eighty five on conviction, it's gone and off to the races again. Uh, Fifty two week range, three thirty five. Is there just a few days ago now to dollar eighty? Sorry, dollar seventy. So that tells you the kind of unbelievable volatility here. Eight cents on the low. There are a lot of sh happy shareholders, not so many happy day traders. Uh, they're win and lose. You really got to know what you're doing. But if you're a shareholder that's been along in the company, you're probably doing very, very well. And finally, CalAmp uh, trades on the NASDAQ CAMP. Uh, they announced that they're selected by a Halton Regional Police Service in Ontario. That's our reporting on this news to upgrade the region's mobile data network used by public safety personnel. That's pretty important. I think that's great third-party validation for the company's technology. Uh, the contract is valued about $1.7 million to be completed in fiscal 2012. They closed uh, Thursday 319, 339 to 52-week low, uh, high, sorry, $1.96 on the low. CalAmp uh, this morning is trading 315, slightly down, not much volume. There's one of those companies that isn't overly followed right now. Uh, but given the technology craze going on in the venture lately, uh, that may change. But then again, that is a NASDAQ company. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Five great press releases for you. If you're watching us on Globe Investor and want to and want to find more great small cap resource companies we've been following, then look below me or to the left of me, depending on the page you're on right now to see the companies we're covering. Otherwise, get up to the front page of Agoracom if you're not already there. Watch the show. Take a look at the best headlines on the front page and get into our marketplace to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have an amazing day. See you tomorrow.